I'm Andrew Hoy, I'm going to be working over trot poles and show you how it can increase the strength and power of your horse. The reason why I use the trot poles every day with my work is to make sure that the horses have good elevation to their step. Now those poles I raise off the ground about 10 centimeters. I just have little blocks that I sit the poles in so that they don't move at both ends. With the measurement between the poles, I'm using very short poles, which are about 2.5 meters in length. The center of where I would be trotting would be 1.3 meters. I obviously have them on a turn. Now when I say the size of the circle would be approximately a 15 to 20 meter circle. So therefore they have to look like the spokes of a bicycle wheel. If you're using a four meter pole, which many of you would have, I would then set up the inside measurement over the poles that are sitting in a fan shape to 1.3 meters. And then that gives you the opportunity to then canter over the outside of the poles, which would be further. The important thing is with trotting over the poles that you work the same to the left and to the right. For me, I find the easiest thing is to do either two or five sequences to the left and then two or five sequences to the right. But I will always be very clear on the number of times I go to the left and to the right. If there is an imbalance in your horse, you will feel the horse working more so one way than the other. That then gives you the opportunity to try to correct the imbalance. If working over the single pole or the trot poles, and you're finding it difficult to keep the horse's rhythm, I normally go in rising trot, but my suggestion is stand in the stirrup for the complete circle and stay standing in the stirrups, both over the poles and out of the poles and all the way around. That will help you to establish the contact to the horse's mouth and stability from the leg. With any form of training, you can either work on technique or fitness. If working on fitness, you want the animal to become tired. If you're working on technique, the animal must not become tired. The important thing with working over a pole is that it is for the technique of the horse. If the horse becomes tired, they cannot develop their technique. 